Hey guys, it's Vishali. So I'm at Stamford Bridge where Chelsea are going to play Manchester City. I'm so looking forward to this game. It's going to be an intriguing fixture. I'm just coming up into the press box. Um, I've just heard the team news and two interesting changes for both sides. Both sides are playing a false number nine. I think Raheem Sterling's up front for City while Eden Hazard is up front for Chelsea. No Alvaro Marta in the squad. I don't know why yet, but we're we're waiting to hear if he's injured or not. Um, this is going to be a really interesting game in terms of the football philosophy of both sides. And I'm expecting goals. Um, let's see what happens. So guys, it is half time and my oh my, Chelsea are leading this game 1-0 thanks to N'Golo Kante's goal just before the break. Um, you kind of did not see that coming just because of how dominating City had been in that first half and a couple of points from that first half before the goal. Um, yeah, City were creating attack after attack and somehow Chelsea were keeping uh, the ball out of the back of their net. I think Alonso has had a really difficult first half. He struggled against Fulham, he struggled against Wolves and you know, sorry said he wasn't going to drop him for Emerson. You can see why he didn't want to drop him for Emerson, who hasn't yet made an appearance in the Premier League. But, you know, he has struggled. He's given the ball away a couple of times and he's been bypassed by Raheem Sterling a few times. Uh, they haven't been punished for it, Chelsea. But uh, yeah, that's one point from, from that. Hazard up front, he was struggling to get the ball. I mean, that was one of the issues when um, Antonio Conte used Hazard up front as a false number nine. Just he was starved of service. And, you know, up until that goal, he was also being starved of service. He was hardly on the ball. But then, that long ball from David Luiz came into Pedro. Pedro sent it to, I can't remember, I think it was Alonso uh, who laid it off to Hazard. Hazard saw Kante, an unmarked Kante, advancing into the area. And you have to say, what, you know, what was City's back line doing? Pep Guardiola will be furious because they were all over the place. But Kante, to his credit, um, he raced into the area, fired the ball into the roof of the net and it sent the Chelsea fans wild. Um, it'll be interesting to see how both managers react to that goal. Chelsea, you'd assume, wants to defend that lead. Um, but uh, City are going to now go on the attack now to get a goal back. Because right now, Liverpool are leading the Premier League. So guys, it's ended 2-0 to Chelsea. Wow, oh wow, what a result for the Premier League title race. I think you can see the Chelsea players uh, some of the subs warming down behind me but uh, it was a very happy atmosphere here at full time because Chelsea won 2-0 uh, they remain above Arsenal um, on goal difference but crucially what does it mean for the title race well Liverpool are top of the Premier League by a point City have suffered their first league defeat of the season they have dropped into second place so the title race is alive this season and it's thanks to Chelsea you know really showing a reaction this is what Sari was asking about or what asking for rather he was asking for a reaction from the Chelsea players after that loss to Wolves and he definitely got it here today they defended well and when the opportunity to score came they took it it's not often that you can score against City so it's important to really convert those chances and they did that second half of course the second goal came from David Luiz he had a really good game you have to say you know of course he it was him who started the build-up play the first to Kante's goal and then he headed that ball in from Ross Barkley's um, corner um, and Ross Barkley had a good uh, showing when he came on so he actually could have scored as well. Um, it was an amazing atmosphere here at Sanford Bridge I think I just want to point that out because um, you know I think a lot of Chelsea fans came here today not thinking that they would win but to see their team run out 2-0 winners shows that there is a really good side here that Sari is building but there are a lot of issues still to deal with one of which is defending as a unit when the defenders are a unit they can play really well but it's when they don't defend as a unit you saw what happened against Spurs they can get completely outclassed but when the defenders are a unit um, they can play really well and well you know this was a great game to attend for me uh, hugely enjoyable I hope you've enjoyed my match day vlog I'm going to head down and listen to Maurizio Sarri and Pep Guardiola but in the meantime um, hit subscribe and I will see you for a short lowdown on what both managers had to say so I'm back outside that's why I've got my hood as well as my hat on so just ignore that it is really really cold um, I went to Maritza Sarri's press conference and just a quick recap of it he was happy with N'Golo Kante's performance he said he played closer to Jorginho and that's what he wants from him um, he was really happy with David Luiz he said after that disaster of a performance against Spurs today was kind of the way that he wants him to play the fact that he was much more disciplined in defence but then of course he contributed to the attacks as well um, but what he did say which was quite interesting was 
The fact that Chelsea have beaten Manchester City is great, but it's not great if they can't then replicate this performance against Brighton, against, you know, all the other clubs are going to play in December. So that's a challenge he's laying down for his side to perform like this against Manchester City, against every single side. Can they keep it up? Well, I don't know. Um, I will um, be heading off home now, but guys, hit subscribe and hopefully I'll be catching you very, very soon.